Hi guys, quick video here. I'm going to show you how to spot a fake semiconductor has been sold on eBay. Um, now the first thing you're going to do, you're not going to see this with the human eye. So you, you're going to have to invest five or six pounds in one of these, which is a jeweler's eyeglass. Um, right, now I'm going to show you um, a semiconductor I bought the other day on eBay. It's totally fake. I'm going to show you the, uh, how you can tell the fake. Um, we're not going to be able to examine it with a jeweler's eyeglass because um, the camera won't um, pick up with it been such the, the writing on the IC is so small we're not going to be able to see it and we can't get the jeweler's eyeglass onto the camera but I'm going to show you the telltale signs I'm going to show you a real one and a fake one right so here we've got the chip in question it's uh, ST micro STA 516B it's um, a chip out of a subwoofer I repaired the other day um, that is the real one that is the fake one now on balance they do look like more or less the same IC apart from that's got two holes in the top which are the real one hasn't um, if you look at the writing it's got some writing on the bottom but we're not going to be able to zoom in with a camera um, so you can zoom into the real one you can just on the real one you can just see the numbers STA 516B you can't actually see it on there but when you look with a jeweler's eyeglass very very carefully if we just turn this piece of paper over here what the Chinese will do they'll take a chip and uh, they'll take any old chip that looks like the one you want in this case and um, if you examine with a jeweler's eyeglass just above the top of the chip there this actually marks where the original number of the IC has been rubbed off but because of this metal ridge here which I've identified there they can't sand round that corner they can only sand in a straight line so what they do is they sandpaper the number off there which will leave a little bit of a ridge here and here where the number's been filed off and once they filed it off there then they apply a new number um, now this is one I bought on eBay the other day I'll just move you over to the listing and um, so with the jeweler's eyeglass if you look very carefully you'll see sanding marks there's a ridge and also the color here will be different to the color in this little indentation because it's been rubbed down so I'll just move over to the eBay listing the one I bought which is this one the fake I can see the numbers have been rubbed off and newer numbers applied I can't show you that on the camera because it's so small but if we look at the listing it's an STA 516B and if you look on the bottom of the chip there it bears the number and in fact if you look on there you can actually see a line that's the ridge I'm talking about where it's been sanded down and the numbers been sanded off um, if you look at the bottom it bears the marking DDX now this is an STA 516B right now here's the, the confirmation seeing as you can't see it in the camera the device is counterfeit um, the one on eBay is listed as an STA 516B and it bears the marking DDX on the bottom now that's the data sheet for the 516B. If we move over to the STA 516BE you'll see that the BE version is actually the FFX digital amplifier. Now the one on eBay bearing the marking FFX is actually marked up 516B whereas the FFX version is 516BE and if I move the camera out that's the two data sheets side by side so you can see clearly that the uh, the 516B is not the FFX one as marked on the chip so there we go that's confirmation the device is counterfeit I've actually fitted it and it didn't work well there's no surprise there and uh, he's going back tomorrow so that's how to spot a fake um, 
Um, if you um, add subscribe to my channel, I will be producing a couple more videos now to spot a fake because there's other telltale signs as fakes as well. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.